the lecture here is on how to solve quadratic equations. And again, another example of how to use a quadratic formula to solve for the roots or the solutions to a quadratic equation. Now, here I believe I'm giving you an example where there's no real roots. In other words, this is a representation, not exact, but kind of an approximate representation of this particular quadratic equation. And here you can see how the parabola does not cross the x-axis, so there are no roots. But if you take the mirror image of that parabola, like so, and flip it over to the other side, you can see that the image, the mirror image, across this dividing line right here, does cross the x-axis. Now, those are what we call imaginary solutions or imaginary roots. And you'll see by using the quadratic formula, we can actually find those imaginary roots. They're not real solutions, they're not real roots. And another way to quickly see if this equation has a real solution, let's find uh, that a is equal to 1, b is equal to minus 7, and c is equal to 13. And let's find the determinant of this particular e equation. The determinant is equal to, this, is equal to b squared minus 4ac. So in this case, the determinant is equal to negative 7 squared minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 13. So d is equal to 49 minus 4 times 13 is uh, 52. And so d equals minus 3. And since the determinant is negative, that means there are no roots or no solutions to this quadratic equation. So there's only imaginary roots or an imaginary solution. Well, let's find it using the quadratic formula. And again, that means that x must equal minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a. And now notice, the determinant is nothing different than what goes in the quadratic formula underneath the radical. And you can imagine then, of course, if the number underneath the radical is less than zero, is a negative number, you cannot take the square root of a negative number, so that, therefore that becomes an imaginary number, or therefore there's no real roots. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and solve this equation. So x is equal to minus b, which is a positive 7, plus or minus the square root of b squared, which is 7 squared minus 4 times a times c, all divided by 2a, which is 2 times 1. Remember that what's underneath the radical is the same as what we had over here, which is going to be a negative 3. So this becomes x is equal to 7 plus or minus the square root of a negative 3 over 2. And the square root of negative 3 can be written as the square root of, negative, the square root of positive 3 times i, or x can simply be written as 7 plus or minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. Or you could say x equals 7 plus the square root of negative 3 over 2. Or x is equal to 7 minus the square root of negative 3 over 2. So those are the two imaginary solutions to my quadratic equation. Again, quickly found by using quadratic formula and also quickly realized that by calculating the determinant, we knew we we're not going to find any real roots, so we were looking for something like that. Okay, that's how you use the quadratic formula to solve this particular quadratic equation.